first met Dory long before she was the infinitely resourceful merchant that you know today, but I could already see that her adorable face was simply brimming with confident determination. Such focus, such passion. Now what kind of grand sorceress would I be if I didn't offer her just a little assistance? Hmm? I dare say my instincts were right on the mora. <laughs> that little investment turned out to be one of the best I've ever made. Come on, let's go! There's a fortune to be made! merchant like Dory wouldn't dream of turning away a perfectly good business deal just because the customer demands the impossible. No, no. So long as the price is right on your tall order, Lord Sangima Bay will personally make sure that all your worries are zapped away with the aid of her electrovision. Any deals that pass through Dory's hands seem to magically yield extra returns. When Dory crafts character and weapon enhancement materials, she has a chance to recover some of the materials used, which can be set aside for emergencies. Dory's normal attack causes her genie to combo up to three strikes that deal physical damage to enemies. Hold the attack button and the genie drains stamina over time to perform a continuous spinning attack on nearby enemies dealing physical damage. When the spinning stops, the genie unleashes one final extra strong strike that launches smaller enemies within range. Dory's elemental skill fires troubleshooter shots from her spirit warding lamp, dealing electro damage to enemies. To sweeten the deal, when troubleshooter shots hit their target, two after sales service rounds are produced that automatically track down their nearby enemies and deal extra electro damage just for good measure. After unlocking the talent, Compound Interest, when the troubleshooter shots or after sales service rounds from Dory's elemental skill hit enemies, Dory will restore elemental energy to herself based on her energy recharge rate. Each elemental skill valid for one energy recharge only. Energy can be redeemed only up to a certain limit. Terms and conditions apply. When Dory unleashes her elemental burst, she summons the genie from her lamp to provide her customers with a plethora of services. The genie connects to a nearby character, causing them to become affected by Electro. The connected character will continuously restore HP based on Dory's max HP and will also steadily regenerate energy. When the connector between the genie and the character touches enemies, it will deal bouts of Electro damage to them at set intervals. Only one genie can exist at one time. An astute merchant like Dory spots business opportunities everywhere she looks. She must always be ready to provide customers with the perfect solution at a moment's notice. After unlocking the talent, an eye for gold. When a character connected to the genie triggers an electrocharged, superconduct, overloaded, quick and aggravate, hyper bloom, or an electro swirl or crystallized reaction, the cooldown of troubleshooter cannon is decreased. This effect can only be triggered once within a set period of time. Any merchant worth their mora must have keen foresight. And Dory figures out just what her customers need before they've even realized themselves. That's why adventurers heading toward danger always seem to find a certain petite peddler waiting for them, just where the going starts to get tough. After entering battle, Dory fires her troubleshooter shots to deal electro damage to enemies, with the after sales service rounds following up after the initial delivery. When her energy is full, Dory summons forth the genie within the lamp to provide support to her teammates. The genie can connect to a nearby character, causing them to regenerate energy and restore HP. By moving the character's position, the connection with the genie can be adjusted, dealing electro damage to enemies while offering customers a little extra bang for their buck. met countless people and helped plenty of them along the way, but Dory is one of the very few who still keeps in touch. I'm not interested in her paying me back, but I do admire her bold and daring mercantile methods. Doing business is just like adventuring and inventing. You must go big or go home. You must be skittish and easily deterred. So for my purposes, Dory is a superb partner and I am only too delighted to place the most ingenious of my personal inventions into her capable hands. An old astrologist friend of mine always harps on about the consequences of handing off these kinds of items. But nothing has come of it yet, so we'll continue business as normal. 